What's up guys, I'm Brian. And I'm Maury from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Today we got one from Industrial Arts Brewing. This is their New England IPA that weighs in at 6.8% called Wrench. This was canned on 4, 18, 18, so it's about 20, 23 days, something like that. Yeah. You know, not a month old yet. Um, and they're out of Garnerville, New York, Industrial Arts are. And I've had uh, one or two of their beers before, but this is the first New England style I've had from them. So we're going to get into it. We'll let you know what we think about it. Wow. It's kind of juicy, man. It's very I mean. juicy. I get uh, clementine, tangerine, orange, a little, a little bit of a mango. A little pineapple. Even a little bit of peach on the second go around. Yeah. You know, I mean, I know these New England IPAs, like, notoriously have a juicy aroma compared to, you know, your clear ones, which a lot of times, they can be a little juicy and citrusy, but also piney and stuff. But this one is probably the most juicy uh, New England style I've put my nose to in a minute. Right. It really is super juicy. It's got a little bit of, like, floral note to it. As well. A little bit, yeah. It smells incredibly soft, which is how I like them. I hope the taste follows suit because the aroma on this thing is like four or seven, five. Right. It's really good. I mean, you don't struggle at all. To no, I mean, you could, you this. know, like I said, peach, mango, tangerine, pineapple, all that stuff I'm pulling out of there. It's, it's, it's fantastic. Cheers. Cheers. Got a pretty fruity taste, too. Yeah, it really does. Wow. I get the clementine. Almost like a little bit of a blood orange, but not... I don't want to go down that road too far, but there's like a, an orange bite to it. Definitely. Right there that's... I mean, any, any of the aromas that we mentioned kind of it Jump carries out, yeah. over onto the taste pretty much it's pretty fruity it does have a little bitterness on the back end but it's not too much you know it's really well balanced there's a pretty decent sweetness there there's a good mouth feel to it too it doesn't kind of doesn't linger too long doesn't you know fade away too fast it's just uh right where it needs to be for this beer it's a hot day up here in erie I mean, it's in the mid-70s. It feels more like 80s to me. It's right. humid. Uh, this is a pretty refreshing, juicy beer. So, uh, good one for today. Um, you know, I don't know if it's quite as good as it was on the aroma, like, as far as on the taste, but it is still really good. I'm between a 4.25 and a 4.5 on this beer. And I think I'm going to go ahead and round up to the 4.5. Um, I just wish the finish had a little bit more, like, fruity juiciness. It starts off that way, but I get a little bit more hops and floral notes on the finish. It's still really good. That fruit is definitely present. But if it had that finish and a little bit more of that lasting pillowy head, I'd be probably above a four and a half, no question, pushing four, seven, five. But as it is, this is a really good one, four and a half. Uh, I'm going to agree. Uh, I'm going four and a half. I was between the two. Uh, this beer is just, it, it's just so well made. Um, the aroma is killer on it. Like you said, you know, if you were judging it just based on the aroma, you were giving out a four, seven, five out of the, out of the gate. And it's, yeah. it's solid. Uh, I mean, it's in your face juiciness. Uh, like you said, you know, everything from clementines to pineapple to, you know, everything that we named. Um, is on the aroma. You do get a lot of that kicking over to the taste. Right. Um, it does have a solid, in my opinion, head retention. You know, I was, I was above a four two five to begin with, and you know, I just, I just feel like looking at it, I'm going up to the four four five. Um, it's just a, it's a solid beer, and uh, glad we got to review it. And I'm gonna thank my brother in law, Mike. Yeah, thanks uh, for for appreciate giving it. this to me, and uh, really appreciate it. So. Um, Till next time, guys. Cheers. Cheers.